Hello. Library in heaven. Have you ever thought of that? There's books up in heaven. I wonder if the Bible is in there. I wonder if the book of Enoch or Jasher or Jubilees or any of the other wonderful books are kept in heaven. Are only books down on earth? You may already know this. There's many, many books in heaven. And they keep records of every single person that has ever been conceived. Every single one of us. We are precious in his sight. He has forgotten none of us. We are very valuable to him. But in those books, he's logging our activities, our thoughts, who we are, what we are, who we come to faith in, who we do not come to faith in. It's all that written there. I'd like to read to you from the book of Daniel, this amazing scene in heaven, which hasn't happened yet. It's coming at the end of days. I watched till thrones were put in place, and the Ancient of Days was seated. His garment was white as snow, and the hair of his head was like pure wool. His throne was a fiery flame, its wheels a burning fire. A fiery stream issued and came forth from before him. A thousand, thousand ministered to him. Ten thousand times ten thousand stood before him. The court was seated and the books were opened. The books were opened. This amazing scene in heaven is also repeated in the book of Revelation. It's called the White Throne Judgment in the book of Revelation. Then I saw a great white throne, and him who sat on it, from whose face the earth and the heaven fled away. And there was found no place for them. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God, and the books were opened. And another book was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to the works by the things which were written in the books. God's logged everything. Lots of books in that library in heaven. Yes. And then I'd just like to read a little verse to you from 2 Corinthians. This is talking to believers in Yeshua. <laughs> For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Messiah, that each one may receive the things done in the body according to what he has done, whether they be good or bad. Yes, from the beginning of Adam all the way to the last human, all these uh, works good and bad works, that which we have done in our life. And some of us will stand with Yeshua by our side, and some of us will not. Yes, I have chosen, as maybe you have, to follow the Lord God, Jesus Messiah. He took care of my sin. He has taken the judgment for them. Oh, wow. Wow. My. And then I want to read to you from the book of Psalms. It's talking about those of all things. Let me read this part. Let them be blotted out of the book of the living and not be written with the righteous. The book of the living is the book of the righteous. The ones he's talking about here are the ones who put Jesus to death. Verse 20 says, Reproach has broken my heart, and I am full of heaviness. I looked for someone to take pity, but there was none. And for comforters, I found none. They also gave me gall 
for my food and my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. These are the people. This particular verse is talking about the people who put the Lord to death. Their names will not be written with the righteous. But there are other times and other places all day, every day, things are written in the books. The book of the living is one. Very interesting things that there are written in scripture about this. A couple more. This is from the book of Revelation and it's talking about, or talking, uh, Jesus Yeshua is talking to the church of Sardis and he's telling them if it says he who overcomes shall be clothed in white garments and I will not blot his name from the book of life but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels Yes, a name can be blotted out from the book of life. So the Lord is saying here to these uh, first century Christians, if you overcome, your name will not be bl blotted out of the book of life. Mm -hmm. And then back to Revelation, the final part here. And this is talking about those who may enter the new Jerusalem. Yes, there's an, a Jerusalem now that the Lord is going to come back and dwell in for a thousand years. And then there'll be a, a renewed Jerusalem, a brand new Jerusalem. And this is what we live in for eternity. And it's talking about the glories of it here in the book of Revelation. It says, but there shall be no means enter a, at anything that defiles or causes an abomination or a lie, but only those who are written in the Lamb's book of life. Now we have more added to this book of life. It's now called the Lamb's book of life. That's the book I want my name in, and I pray to God it is. I hope it is. You do too, because this is the, the living book, the book that lasts forever and ever and ever we will live eternally with our precious Lord. The library in heaven, full of books, full of words, full of actions and, and deeds done by each of us. We will stand before the Ancient of Days and welcome those whose name is in the Book of Life. Seek it out. Make sure it is. Your name is. I love you. Bless you. May you be written and kept in that precious book, the Lamb's book. Remember John the Baptist said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world.